Hello everyone and welcome back to Trains. In the last time lapse you saw me creating this town that we are going into and to showcase the town what a better way to do that than to take in this local freight train. You can see it's actually quite long and it will service all of the industries within this town uh, which is called Manchester and it is designed to be the most manly town with the most manly industries. Uh, all these cars are destined for the town and we'll be sorting them out at each of the industries within town. So uh, I will introduce you to the town as we go along. It is still a work in progress as well as the rest of this layout and forgive the lag. Um, but yes, it's a work in progress as is the rest of this layout. And so the crossings don't function, the industries haven't been fully implemented yet, but the tracking the track is in, in the correct space. So we are going to go into town here, we're going to pass by the station, and then you can see up towards uh, the top of the screen, you're going to have to wait for that train to cross the tracks up ahead. It is leaving from one of the industries on the route. a look into the beautiful downtown with the department store and you've got a train going over the top here going to the sidings make sure that my train is not don't lose it too hard nope so trains gonna come around here we're gonna put our first line of cars here at the true value warehouse and distribution center so it can be loaded and then we're going to maneuver down the track a little ways and then begin backing up to this IKEA warehouse. And then we'll make our way over the bridge to the other industries, which you see one of the trains coming out of now. See this beautiful train moving with tanks and military vehicles from the military factory on the hill, which we're going to go visit here in a few minutes. Just come close. Oh, that's perfect. Couldn't have timed that any better if I tried. Well, while we wait for the military train to get ahead of us, let's take a look at what we've got. If we spin around, we follow our train back. We're going to start from the back and go to the front. So these box cars and the lumber cars are all destined for the True Value Store. Then we've got these IKEA. Uh, boxes which are going to the IKEA siding. Um, the covered hoppers as well as the tank cars and the reefers are all headed to the brewery. The uh, tank cars will be heading to the Manly Propane uh, facility. And then these box cars will be headed to a good shed on the top of the hill. And then these flat cars will all be headed to the tank factory, we just need to place them properly. Okay, so we've got ourselves a yellow signal, so we're going to proceed ahead. There's no uh, commuter traffic or anything coming for a long while, so we'll have plenty of time to switch out these cars and uh, get the main line unoccupied.
so the town of Manchester has got uh, a bunch of industries to play with, and this is just one of several cities on this layout which is going to have many multiple industries. Um, with a one track main line and several sidings, as well as an active commuter network, uh, that's going to make switching and using locals a challenge as you have to do your freight moves fairly quickly to make sure you don't upset the commuter traffic too much, even though the in the United States, and this is based on uh, the United States, freight traffic does have right of way over passenger traffic. Uh, it's best, you know, we're trying to make it a challenge to not use them um, as much as possible. So we're just going to roll this train down the rails here, just enough to get past the switch and then we'll back the last cars in and disconnect them so that all of the lumber and stuff can be put into the true value warehouse. cleared. The train to stop. Now we'll go backwards. Another challenge is going to be since there are so many road crossings if we come up here, here's another road crossing into the unfinished uh, residential area of town. Um, you know, trying to limit the amount of time you gridlock traffic is going to be another challenge with this particular town. Jump on this car here, like that one. I also have not put any of the foliage in the layout yet, just because the trees and things, um, you know, I usually leave those to the very end. I'm still trying to find a good tree and grass set. This is kind of supposed to be a California as Pacific Northwest type of setting. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of evergreens and some palm trees and the cities and things kind of like that. And I'm still just kind of poking around for my perfect. Um, plants, and usually I add those in last because objects, and you can kind of tell from this video, are lagging the game, at least on this computer, so, you know, if I can minimize the amount of objects at the very beginning here, then this will turn out a whole lot better later on, and, you know, play testing and stuff will go really smoothly. Back these up just a little bit further, let's see if I can't get them to fit perfectly. Okay, that works. Oh, a little bit of torsion there. All right. So that's uh, that's our lumber lumber train is parked. Well, you know what? We need to back this up just a little bit more. Get that lumber actually on the siding. So we'll just shove back ever so little. I'm not expecting such the. Uh, reverb in the cars. This might be a little bit too long if you're doing prototypical switching operations.
Wow, that is a lot of torsion in the cars. I knew that, or maybe I just need to add more platform to the true value store. But yes, we'll call this good for now. So we're going to decouple right here. Everything's fine. All right, so now that we have decoupled, we're going to move down here and occupy this crossing again, and we're going to get these IKEA cars placed in the IKEA warehouse up there and then we'll make our way across the bridge. Actually that's not true, we've got one more stop after the Ikea thing. Oh, I gotta flip the switch back. Oop. There we go. Fight along on this cart of flat back furniture. I know it's probably better to haul these things in a box car, but I just love the detail. I mean, look at the detail that went into these boxes. It's, I just like all the IKEA labels and everything. It's, it's just so cool. Okay. Now, once again, the crossings aren't activated yet, so you're going to see cars driving through things. So I still have to build the crossings. But as a working prototype, it will suffice just fine. Wrong button. That's okay. And stop. Okay, let's make sure our turnouts are functioning properly. Let's turn that way, turn that way. That's perfect. All right, so we're gonna back this train down the siding here. And into the Ikea warehouse right next to this Ikea store, where of course we get all of our manly tasks of putting together flat pack furniture. Here to the Manchester IKEA. We get a few car lengths in, and then we'll hit the brakes, stop the train, and uncouple these. Again, sorry about the lag. It's just that this computer is a little bit older, and uh, tends to lag pretty badly. So a fair amount of reverberation. I 
make sure everything's set. Good to go. Turn that off. A couple. See the air hoses disconnect, that's really cool. Alright, so now we're gonna move ahead. And our next stop is the brewery, which is located up this right track through, and we're gonna go to the left and park them right here. The brewery is this big building right here. And we got some box cars that looks like that are stored. We are not scheduled to pick those up, so we're just gonna leave them. Switch. Do that. We'll start backing them up. So we're going to disconnect everything up to the tanker. So right here, that's going to be our last. Uh, connection and then the tank cars will head up the hill. Let's ride on the back of the hopper here. As we back our way past the IKEA warehouse behind an office depot and then we'll pass by a home depot and the freight house and the brewery. So this little this little town will give you a very nice um, array of challenges. There's going to be lots of different cars to be delivered here. This train that I'm using here is probably about a typical size for the local that will run to this town. Um, I don't know, it might be too big, it might be too small for the operations that we're doing, I'm not really sure. Uh, we're getting a lot of um, vibration in the cars, you know, the tension and the stretching. Uh, in the cars, so you know that might be a product of it being uh, too long for this type of operations. I don't know either that or it's just the game. So we need to bring these back, and then we need to stop it pretty much as close to the brewery as we can. And this is going to contain, you know, the barley, the hops, um, the you know liquid beer, the water, and then the refrigerator cars for the outgoing beer, of course. Okay, we'll call that... Yeah, that's good. That is good. Okay, so then we break it off right here. forward. Okay, so next we need to go to uh, the bridge. And the bridge, we need to pass this switch right here, and we're going to flip it, and then we need to go up and over to the next industries on the hill over there. And you can see this bridge uh, goes right over the top of the town. It looks like I need to do some terraforming because it's a little messed up. That's okay. And then we can talk about those industries over there. I already hinted at them. We're going to drop off these tank cars, and then we'll drop off the box cars, and then the flat cars, and then the depressed flat cars.
down. Alright, gonna flip the switch, get on this thing, wait for the train to come to a complete stop. Backwards we go. So, uh, this last few industries are across this bridge, which goes right over the town, and over here, which the first one, we can switch that way, and then switch that way to go over to what I'm going to call the Hanks on the Hill. Uh, that's because um, the industries are named after some guy named Hank, and I'll, I'll give you three seconds to figure out who. Uh, the first one we're going to visit is this Hanks Propane. Uh, it's a propane company, and uh, put the propane cars in, and they get loaded and ready to ship out all over. Next door to Hank's Propane is Hank's Tanks. That's right, Manchester, the manliest town in this layout, produces tanks. It has a tank factory that produces Shermans and M1s, and if I can make a product out of the Willys, you know, these Willys Jeeps, I will. Uh, it will require flat cars to be loading the uh, product onto. I might make a diesel drop-off, you know, to fill these diesel cans. I don't know. I haven't decided that far yet. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, that's going to add a lot of fun and a lot of flavor and a nice unique load to the layout. And then right over here is just a general goods uh, facility uh, for the town. So we're going to jump on the tank car as it rolls across downtown here. You see the brewery that we dropped those cars off earlier. You're going to cruise right over the top of the Home Depot. And there's a Sears next to it. Lots of um, nice manly stores. And you got a really creepy looking McDonald's. You probably need to populate this area with some more stores. And then this is the department store. And then you have the train station for uh, Manchester. That's not very attractive, so we'll go ahead and fix that off camera. I'll edit this crossing so that it works at a later date. Just a nice little unguarded stop crossing. That's not atrocious. I'm looking, I like to look as the trains pass over the switches to see how bad they snake around. Um, it's especially useful to use like well cars, auto racks, and super liners because they're so long that you can see if they excessively twist around the corner or uh, crab, if they excessively crab off the track. You can also see if you get like little hops like that one. That looks like a bit of terrain I need to smooth out. Okay, slow down. Slow down. of the general goods box cars here at the good storage. The bell's probably getting annoying, but when you're doing yard work, siding work, you kind of need it. But this is a nice little separate industrial track. Gives me a nice little adventure to go on. Off the beaten path, off the main line. 
fact, this uh, town itself is not on the double track main line. It's a single track spur line, if you will, um, a few miles away from the main line. So it, it is quite off the beaten path, and it does take a little while to get here. You can see how these flat cars are behaving when I was talking about the crabbing. Go back here and check, and you know, it's still within the track. It's not too terrible. It's not ideal, but it's not, you know, game-breakingly awful. We're going to stop this train as it goes across the bridge, right on the crossing, and then flick this switch right here. And this game's doing really bad, and I think it's just because this layout is, you know, 25 miles long, and it's in an urban setting, so there's a lot of buildings and scenery, and plus I have the view distance all the way up, which I do for these videos and sometimes that can take a real giant performance hit and I don't feel like burdening you with the options even though with the 10 seconds the options screen would be on it probably would uh, save a bunch of time from the game lagging a bit so it's kind of a pain. Alright so we're gonna back this train we'll ride along on this boxcar here that it is reversed improperly. Gotta add a buffer to the end of that, I forgot. And we'll stop that here. Perfect. Alright, now we'll decouple the boxcars. And now the final delivery, the flat cars. Alright, so we'll set the train moving forward here. We need to clear this switch right here so that we can get turned back to uh, the tank factory. Now the tank factory has requested the uh, TTX cars on this right track and the depressed cars on the left track. So we will honor those requests. And then we're going to have to go through this gate, which will be fun. And that gate will probably open here after we flip the switch and start reversing. Crabbing isn't too terrible, just looking up here. It's not ideal, but it's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Stop. Flip the switch. So if you're running, you know, cab view in this thing, you know, you can look over the town, you're going to be visiting the bridge multiple times, so it's kind of cool to watch. You know, great scenery, and once I get the trees in here, I'm sure it will be better. Why are we going forward? Hang on a second. I think it's because I'm controlling the wrong locomotive. Okay. There we go. Let's try that. There we are. Got the wrong locomotive. So we're going to reverse. Come back here to the tank factory. We'll look from there at perspective as we begin the process of backing in. There goes the gate. It's going to swing open as it anticipates our arrival. That's set correctly. Let's go back and stand on the flat car. Back in.
sketch out these tracks as well. So they match the jointed rail tracks of the other uh, parts of the layout. put the depressed black cars on the other track. Nice. Heavyweight depressed black cars. I found them on the download station if I recall correctly. from the um, cars that we've lost have definitely made uh, the train a lot faster and a lot more responsive when it comes to accelerating and braking. So, um, you know, duh, but, you know, pretty neat. Back these up. Back these up down this side in here so that they can put freshly built Abrams tanks. Black cars, and then they can be off to wherever they're needed. to leave this other flat car, which is a buffer car, uh, to the engines, so that's fine, we'll just leave it. We'll just pull this train away ever so slightly so that we are formally detached. And this train is going to head back to the yard. So that's a preview of the town of Manchester. You can see uh, a bunch of industries, a bunch of exciting industries for this track and this nice little hill that you have to drive across. You know, the main line comes up and around the top there over by these houses and then you get to push trains all the way back here and break them up. I mean, in this video alone, we broke up probably a 25 car train into the by six industries that are just in this town alone. So, um, you know, this is just one of the many towns that will be featured on this layout, adding a bunch of unique challenges and excitements for running your own railroad. And certainly a tank factory adds a lot of interesting cargo to carry uh, into the larger yards. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this little local operation 
and uh, sorry about the lag, I hope to get it fixed at some point, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day!